Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video we have seen how we can get information from a REST API server by using fetch function in React Native with TypeScript. In this video we are going to learn how we can insert new record by using POST method of REST API in react native with typescript for inserting this information i will use fetch function same i will use the fake api from json placeholder for inserting and testing this application this application is freely available you can also test with me on your machine that's why i'm using this api in later on videos i will use a spring boot server also that is created by me because i will show you the real application development on that time that actually data is going in database or not here i can just give you a demo the fake demo that the data is inserting you have seen that resource will not be really updated on the server but it will fake as if so that means we just will show by the code that data is inserted but actually it will it will not be affected on the server because it's a fake api but the actual coding is same only the data is not actually inserting in the server but everything is same as we have a real api so that we are going to build here in this video by using fetch function to insert a new record so here for that you see we have the guide here guide click on this guide button in this JSON placeholder website and we have the way how we can use this so this same resource code I am going to implement in react native with TypeScript for that you see that I have these records so I just copy this and make my data ready so here I just create here uh, the type of this so I say type and I say data type equal to and here I paste so this data type I will take so uh, this done and I do not need this now what I need I need data type here so first of all I make a state variable I say here data and set data that I'm going to insert I say use state and under this I need to put this object like this way remember this object i am inserting this record i want to insert so here uh, i want to give some information so i say title is dr weapon classes and body this is rest api post method by fetch you, you can say like this and id i say id is 999 anything you can give just a dummy data so this information i want to insert on a server the data type of this if you see here we have title body and user id and we have a id also that will come automatically so here i give data type so i say data type is string and remember that i need to give here id also because it's implementing automatically so I say number is my ID and here also I say string and here I also I say number because it's a TypeScript and here in use state I need to pass the data type of this so I say data type like this way save this so we need to pass title id also that's why it's giving some problem so i say id is 111 save this you see so we have inserted id also we have title body and this everything we have now we have a data so now i need to use use effect function so i say use effect use effect under this i need arrow function and then second one have a value on which I will update this so I save this under this arrow function I need to write my code 
and that code is already written here you see so I call this function like this way and I will modify it as per my requirement copy paste so this is the URL and this is the post method in place of this this information I will put data because that is my variable that I will put my object here this object I will put to insert this information then we are passing the header application JSON and care set UTF-8 then information will come here and we have a data here JSON so I will again set this data to set data and I pass this here and we will have update information again in this same value data for confirmation purpose and I can say catch also for that I have to remove this and here I say catch because I want to fetch error also if there is any error uh, then I say toast dot show and here I display the error I say error and I say toast dot display for long duration of time say this so if there is an error then we will display error also remember that if there would be any error then we will display error message and if the information inserted we have this data back here in JSON and we can display this information here also so I say test and here I say posted data or we can say inserted this data and here I say JSON dot stringify and here I say data this data I will display here it will confirm that uh, data is inserted and uh, I can display multiple information also so I try to put here this bracket and then I want to put this toast also copy paste here and here I say record inserted save this so we have here some problem semicolon expected so I say semicolon here save this save this so now we have uh, inserted data also and we have display information that we got inserted I think done and now I try to execute this so you see already we have executed but once again I try to uh, reload it you see record inserted the message is coming record inserted and we have insert this information in the fake server that server is this one if we will try to read this information this information would not be available because it's clearly mentioned here that it will return this value if this value is coming that means record is inserted otherwise it's a fake server no need to check it but you see that we have successfully inserted this information and we have the same code of implementation for all the API not only for this just we have to remove this API server each and everything would be same if you have a same kind of data if you have a different data just change your data here and automatically just you have to change the type of data also and all remaining code would be same here I am not using any button remember that here I am not using any button for uh, clicking or for inserting this information but I can use this also you see so whenever I will update the information if I put here data if anything I just update and click on this it will insert the information so directly I can insert and put this code under a button click also remember that not only in use effect I can put all the code within a button also and this will give the information for example uh, suppose uh, uh, I take one button and here suppose I take button and I say here button and uh, I say here button title I say 
that insert data and uh, I say the color of this button is brown and here I say on press the you can say function is I say insert data remember this function I want to execute insert data this button I need to insert so I import this button also first thing and this function is called use effect so I called this function I say here that const I say insert data equal to remember so I remove all these things and here I say equal to arrow function like this way remember insert data and I need to remove this also no need of this so this function we have changed this to the insert function under this we use this fetch remember <coughs> now uh, uh, in data we have already this information so I have to take one more uh, variable so this is for data insertion and uh, if we get data back then I should display data so for that what I do we have this uh, information to display here this information is automatically coming because here so I will display this information whenever data is inserted so for that I am here in this function so I take one true or false variable here I take const and I take here a check set check it will check the insert option so I see use state and I see boolean boolean is the value here that I want to insert and I say false here so I insert here false and uh, uh, here I say if inserted I say set check equal to true no problem at all and here I say under this that if check then I want to display this information otherwise I want to display none okay you see inserted this data so I remove this also no need of this save this and here I say inserted this data remember so this data is under this and I do this save this and uh, uh, I can make some CSS also if you require I can say uh, container I do like this I say flex equal to 1 I say justify content equal to center and I say alignment of the item is center save this and I put this here style equal to styles dot container save this you see information is like this and uh, I put here style style equal to styles dot heading and this heading I put here and I say uh, font size equal to 30 font weight equal to bold save this so you see we have this one then I take for button also so I say button and here I say margin margin from the top I take it as 10 pixel and I put uh, this for the button and uh, for that I need to take view 
so i cut this view and i put this view under this button save this and here i say style of this button is style dot button save this and we have this text also so i say one more thing i say uh, data so for that data also i say font size is 20 and font weight is bold save this and i put this here i say style equal to style dot data like this way i try to make some CSS also and remember that whenever I will click on this insert data so this information will insert it it will say record inserted and I have this information here also it will display information here so this record is inserted successfully on this API that is fake API in place of this you can put your own API in which you want to insert the data by using react native with TypeScript so it will work the same just synchronize your data as per your requirement and you see that we successfully implemented this fetch request with post method for inserting a data onto the fake server same instructions are given here this instructions we have implemented in react native with typescript you see in next video i will explain you how you can use put delete or other rest api methods also by using fetch function thank you for watching this video if you like it please do subscribe